Hi guys. Well, today I just want to uh, talk a little bit about something I've just bought. Um, it's not to do with the bike and it's not to do with camping. Um, but it will help me <laughs> as I make further YouTube videos uh, and provide a degree of um, backup to any potential accident or risk on the road. So actually what I've bought uh, is a head camera um, and I've gone for um, a Drift Ghost XL. That's a Drift Ghost XL. And I think the, the obvious thing is to go and buy a GoPro, which um, um, I think is probably, you know, it has a lot more features. Well, it has a lot more features on than this. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I didn't want to spend uh, GoPro money. Um, at this stage, I just didn't want to do that. So I did a bit of research and some uh, feedback from uh, a couple of the forums, uh, the Facebook forums. Um, did some more research and then decided to buy the uh, Drift Ghost XL. So Drift is the company, uh, it's British. Um, the reason I've gone for this camera is, as you can see, it's a quite a compact little unit. This flap here is just flapping down because I've got it charged in charging already. Um, and you know, the, the re another reason for getting this is that it's basically waterproof out of the box. So this is waterproof up to a certain standard. Now that standard is IPX7 waterproof. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. But um, I think for most weather conditions, uh, that's probably going to be okay, literally just as it is as you see it. Whereas... As I understand the GoPros, um, you know, you've got to put in uh, waterproof cases, etc, etc. But the GoPro, I think, I would accept is uh, probably the ultimate one to buy. Uh, but this is nice and neat to go on the side of uh, my crash helmet. So that'll give me some filming from the crash helmet. But it'll also allow me to do a bit of filming with YouTube, I think, because the, the camera in this should be sufficient to do some nice quality HD videos. So I'll see, but I guess primarily it's more to do with having something uh, on the bike or on my crash helmet. And I can have it, have it either on the bike or the crash helmet. Uh, this is the, uh, the clip that you can see. Now that clip slides into one of these little holders. And if you look to the one on the right here, there's a slight curvature, so that is there to sort of fit to your crash helmet. And I have offered it up to my crash helmet, and it seems to just fit nicely. I haven't stuck it yet, obviously. And this is a more of just a universal flat uh, bracket. So I guess, you know, you could put that on your, well, you could put it on anything really. I, I can't think at the moment, but uh, maybe go in the car or something like that, but uh, or on the bike. I think you can get other fixings to, you know, adapt it and bolt it to various bits of your bike, but I'm sure for now that those two brackets will meet my needs. So you get the camera, um, and just a very quick cover. I'm going to have to read this because it's uh, it's sort of new to me. So you, you have a um, a 1080p 30 fps HD camera. <laughs> no idea <laughs> but I guess it'll do um, I've told you about the waterproof uh, IPX7 it's got a dash cam mode which uh, I guess just goes onto a loop where it's just looping uh, the other uh, advantage of this particular uh, camera is the um, it's it talks in terms of having a nine hour battery there's no separate battery the battery is built into that unit um, but it has a nine hour battery life. Now, when I've looked at uh, other people who have uh, tested them and used them, 
Um, maybe they don't get quite nine hours, but they're getting sort of eight, eight and a half, you know, towards the nine different people. Uh, so that's pretty outstanding, I think. I mean, just for me personally, um, it's got a rot it's got a rotable lens, so uh, it rotates 300 degrees. And again, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that just allows you to focus on what you want to capture or how where the lens actually positions when it's mounted somewhere. Um, the other thing you can do is, you, if you had two or three cameras or a couple of cameras, you can connect them together so that there's a, what they call clone mode, but that won't affect me. Uh, it says it has a vent detection. <laughs> Who knows? I suspect, I think I do know actually, I think if there's a sudden um, movement, i.e. an accident, uh, where there's a, um, well, basically sudden movement, uh, it'll start filming, even if it's switched off, I think. Um, and uh, it's Wi-Fi enabled, so that's that's quite good. So yeah, that's uh, that's it really. It, it costs less uh, than 100 and, uh, I think it was 149.99, something like that. So around about the 150 mark, which uh, we're in 2020. <laughs> Losing plot. No, we're in 2020. So in 2020 prices, around about 150 pounds. So it's substantially cheaper than a, a new GoPro. I know you could get a second hand one, but for what I'm gonna use it for, uh, the waterproofness of the, the actual unit straight out of the box, the um, eight to nine hour battery life, things like that, it just seemed to fit my purposes better. And the price, not unreasonable. Um, so you've seen the two brackets it comes with. It also has the charging cable, which is plugged in. So it's just a USB to, uh, I think, do they call them micro port or something? So it has a USB cable. Um, you need two um, to put in a memory card and um, when I've read the instructions, you need to get the memory, it says put the memory card in before you charge and I don't know if that makes any difference, but I thought I'd wait. So I've got the memory card, memory card's gone in and it goes into a little slot just there. So you've got your charging cable, you've got your little, um, I'd actually use a, a, you can see it, one of those, scan, scan disc, scan, yeah, scan disc. Uh, and I've gone for 128 gigabyte. I think uh, you need something in that's maybe better than, the higher than that, is it 64 gigabyte? But I've gone for the 128, because uh, there wasn't a massive amount of difference. And, um, and uh, Drift recommend scan disk and a another. Uh, and again, maybe that doesn't make any difference, but I've gone with what the recommendation was anyway, I've got the scan disk, I think they're a quality brand in their own right. Um, I'm not going to take this cable out but when that cable does come out this cover clicks into place um, and I'll maybe just show you that when I do a demonstration of the camera eventually but this cover is waterproof when it is closed in the closed position. So you've got the camera, you've got the uh, USB charging cable, uh, you've also got um, a TRS audio adapter cable so that TRS cable is has a water as a rubber ring on which uh, gives the waterproofness if you can see just there there's a little slotted uh, plastic uh, screw that's waterproof you take that out you screw that in so it screws in there's threads on it and then um, well you push it in and then screw it to tighten it up finally and the rubber ring gives it its waterproofness, so that's waterproof. And then you plug in your um, microphone into there. Um, I've seen various people doing different things to get the microphone into the helmet, so I haven't really thought about that yet, but I will have a think about it. Or you can have a separate microphone if you're just filming uh, from a, you know, a stand, if you just have a, uh, a little stand that you're going to put it on. Um, you could film from that. Um, on that point, the this bracket will screw off and 
basically I think it's just a standard screw thread there for uh, most camera um, you know uh, stands so that'll screw into a camera stand um, and if you're not using either bracket so if you're hand holding and you're wandering about a bit um, this little plastic uh, cover I think goes where the uh, hole is there. I think it just screws into that to uh, just to keep it clean and tidy um, just one thing to mention I haven't had experience but one thing to mention is these cables this is the uh, what do you call that now that's called the uh, yeah so this this is the TRS uh, audio adapter cable and from looking at other videos there seems to have been a problem with batches of these uh, prior to this date anyway so uh, going back they I think at the beginning they had a lot of problems with these uh, not being particularly strong you know the cables quite a thin cable and uh, having problems with them just stopping working um, now I think you can uh, buy your own which are much stronger but uh, the difficulty is it's getting this waterproofness uh, to to work so but at the end of the day if uh, if this proves faulty for me then you know I'll just get another one uh, from the uh, supplier who sold the uh, item to me um, so we need to keep an eye on that because I'm not so sure that's the only thing that really came across as being a bit of a problem albeit maybe not on these newer models so I need to keep an eye on that check that um, and then you've got a uh, another power cable here which is uh, a waterproof uh, TRS fitting so <clears throat> where the microphone cable goes in there if you want to charge this whilst you're on the go if you've got it fitted to your bike or even to yourself I guess but say to your bike if you plug that into this uh, microphone slot that we pointed out before plug it in screw it in and then there's a rubber ring which seals it and then that goes to your wherever your USB charging point is then I guess other than that bit um, the cables coming out of here are going to be waterproof the water ain't going to go into the device um, so I'll see how that works um, so maybe a last thing to mention is just that the um, it's quite a simple operation uh, with three buttons on the top I'll not go into that now but um, you can see there's the three buttons on the top um, you've got a little screen on the back and with the Wi-Fi you download an app onto your phone and you can have instant monitoring of your uh, of your camera so with the app the Wi-Fi instant uh, access to what's being filmed on your camera and you can I think you can edit it from there and so all in all um, having opened the package and had a look at it it just feels really nice quality um, I think it's relatively slim you know for a camera and um, to be honest with you um, the proof will be in the uh, mounting it and using it so just in summary waterproof nine hour stated battery life compact brackets to fit to your helmet or to some flat surface waterproof even when utilizing microphone uh, sorry microphone use well microphone uh, so waterproof using microphone waterproof for the device charging ability um, and I think all in all it just has a really really nice feel to it so we'll see how we get on with it but looking good for now thanks guys